Stefan, my man, great to see you again. What's up, man? Good to see you. And I have a message for you from my mom. Who yes. I watch this with, and she's like, "Oh my gosh, I met you at Beale Street, twenty one bridges." <laughs> met my mom, and she says hello to you. Oh man, send my love to mama, please. I, I don't get to say that to a lot of people, so whenever I get the opportunity, I I, I always I always <laughs> drop that. <laughs> hey man, uh, great job. This is amazing. Um, it, it, as I just told your director, I told Veronica, I was like, man, I went down so many rabbit holes, you know, in this thing. It just it made me think trust anybody maybe look at people yeah. differently uh let's start let's start there let's describe staying spoiler free your relationship uh, your characters baden with everybody sophia of course placed by gugu uh and james tell me where baden fits in yeah i mean you know i mean this story starts when a young woman you know sort of comes to and not not knowing who she is and um and so you know, there's this interesting, you know, process of her just putting the pieces of her life together. Cut to this mysterious character, uh, Thomas Baden, who seemingly comes out of nowhere um, and is introduced to her as an undercover cop, um, you know, that's curious about her case and wants to help, help her put the pieces together. And I think, you know, his motivations, his intentions are all in question pretty much throughout the whole series. Um, we never know, you know, sort of where his head's at. He lives in sort of this gray area um, and there's a mystery and aloofness about him. And so we're not totally sure if he's there to help Sophie um, or if there's something else. And so that was very, very exciting for me as an actor to want to jump into. You're good. You're real good. You, 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 you skated around everything just now. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, he's going to go there. No, he didn't. So way yeah. to go, my man. That was Thanks, awesome. Man. Hey, <laughs> what was it like to work uh, and film in San Francisco? One of my favorite cities. I lived there as a young child. Uh, my brother was born in East Bay, but you all got to work there. Uh, tell me what that was like. Did it, did it help fuel the, the adrenaline as it were, you know, the mindset of this story? Oh yeah. I mean, I loved working in San Francisco. That was my first time in San Francisco. Um, I will say the hills there are crazy, man. Like it was, it felt like leg day every single day, just going on a walk, just like my thighs are still big from the experience, but it was a great city, a great, a great, um, great experience for sure. And what is going to stay with you after this? Uh, you know, what makes you think? Because again, with myself, I was trying to look around and <laughs> thinking, who do I trust? <laughs> who, who's telling me what, what do I believe is what's going to stick with you? Oh man. I mean, I think it it's certainly, I don't know, it's triggering, isn't it? Like, you yeah. know, you certainly have these sort of trust issues <laughs> when going through a show like this. Um, especially when you're dealing with characters that are so close to you, right? Like, you know, Sophie is is questioning, you know, the man she married, the man she intended to spend her whole life with. Um and so I think that for everyone in life, it probably puts them in that scenario. Um you know, who, you know, who's my mom? Are you even my mom? You know, it's like, you don't even know what to do. You're going to have to ask your mom now if she's your mom. Oh, I was going to pull some Scooby-Doo on her, you know, pull, try to pull off the mask like, and it's really me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. She'd slap me. Even though I'm grown up, mama still puts me in the corner. Stefan, oh, yeah. I made you laugh. Don't mess with mama. <laughs> don't mess with mama. I made you laugh and, and brought a smile to your face, which brings a smile to mine.